separation is the key to holiness. The very first thing God did in the beginning when he said let there be light was to separate the light from the darkness. Faith is light. So you need to separate your faith from the lies and the opinions of this world. We are saved by faith in Christ Jesus. So anything that attacks your faith or causes you to doubt is unclean and unholy. We need completely holy faith, undefiled before God. So it's not just faith, but holy faith, separated and undefiled, holy understanding of the truth of God. The book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 20. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. 2 Corinthians 6, 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Hebrews 7.26 For such an high priest became us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. The book of Joshua, chapter 3, verse 2 And the soul of Enoch was wrapped up in the instruction of the Lord, in knowledge and in understanding. And he wisely retired from the sons of men, and secreted himself from them for many days. 2 Timothy 2 verse 4 No man that warreth entangling himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Exodus 33 verse 16 For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Galatians chapter 6 verse 14 But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. Leviticus 20 verse 24 But I have said unto you ye shall inherit their land and I will give it unto you to possess it. A land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God which have separated you from other people. You shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean, and you shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And you shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people that you should be mine. First Ezra 7.13 And the children of Israel that came out of the captivity did eat, even all they that had separated themselves from the abominations of the people of the land, and sought the Lord. 1 Ezra chapter 9 verse 9 And do his will and separate yourselves from the heathen of the land and from the strange women. Ecclesiasticus 16 verse 16 His mercy is manifest to every creature and he hath separated his light from the darkness with an adamant. Genesis 1 and 1 in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. 
Matthew 25, 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, unto everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Verse 46, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 10. He pleased God and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yea, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding, or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of naughtiness doeth obscure things that are honest, and the wandering of concupiscence doeth undermine the simple mind. He, being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. For his soul pleased the Lord, therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. This the people saw and understood it not, neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints, and that he have respect unto his chosen. Separation before transformation from the contamination. Praise you, Jesus.